All right, everyone, next up in our handstand prep progression, things are gonna start looking a lot more like handstands now. So we've done all the hard work, we've positioned our rib cage, we've gradually over a period of a lot of time, perhaps years, we have, <laughs> not just daily because that's when I release videos, uh, over a long time we've prepped our joints for this. We've, we've gotten our wrists more accustomed to accepting load on them. Um, we've gotten our shoulder mobility there. We've got nice secure abs that know when to work and when to turn on. Um, last progression we did, we elevated, we were doing a, a pike and then we elevated the feet slightly. Now we're going to really elevate the feet. So I'm going to find a high box. Maybe I stack two benches in the gym up together. I got a nice kind of precarious stool here from home. Um, don't try this at home, but I'm trying this at home, I guess. This one's a little bit different for the setup. It's hard to kind of, I mean, I would still recommend that people tuck their hips, push away, make sure you're setting up with a good position here. Make sure you're teaching yourself how to find those abs just like that. Um, from there, we know we're going to lose these glasses, so we better take them off. <laughs> From there, you're going to try to just hang on to them and you're going to put whatever foot up there that you want and then whatever foot up there that you want. So this is not meant to be a plank like this. We're meant to get our body vertical. So what I'm going to do is try to hang on to these abs and walk backward. I'm going to get a pretty big stretch in my hamstrings. Yep. And even more if I can. All right, I am toast. Holy crap. The things I do for you guys. Ooh, maybe I don't need to get a workout in today. Um, so you might feel a lot of upper back muscles trying to help you out there. You might lose track of your balance because maybe you'll find that balance point and you won't feel so much pressure on your wrist. That kind of happened to me during that. Um, this is just the next progression. You can play with this for quite a while. What I would do is gradually increase your volume, right? So we, we talked about this already, you know, over a long period of time, you need to gradually increase everything. You need to gradually ramp up how intense this is. Same thing for this. So maybe I do this for six weeks and I just try to add five more seconds every week. Okay. Then I can, you know, I get up to at least 30 seconds of a hold, 35 seconds of a hold. Um, and I could do maybe three sets, maybe four sets, maybe two sets if it's feeling really uncomfortable or if it's towards the end of a workout. Maybe this is just kind of like a, a side goal of yours, not your primary reason for working out. In which case, you can throw this in at the end of your workout. You're just going to be a little more fatigued going into it. That is the pike hold with feet really elevated or very elevated. <laughs> 